Brothers bet on the side. It's day eight, and we are still waiting for a pissed housemate to get the baps out in the jacuzzi. <laughs> So on tonight's show, there'll be a smattering of this. <laughs> a suggestion of this. Fuck! <laughs> and maybe even a susan of this. <laughs> That's right, a susan. It's very fancy in here this evening. Uh, right, we are upping our game because tonight is a very special show. It's our strongest lineup in the history of lineups. than the time we had Brian Bello, Trevor and Simon, and the Queen of Vagina here. <laughs> it is that strong. So first up, a woman who's brushed shoulders with all the greats. She's met Michael Caine and Dustin Hoffman, but perhaps her biggest claim to fame was starring as the fairy godmother opposite Andy Scott Lee's Prince Charming <laughs> in Cinderella in Wrexham. It's Nikki Graham. <laughs> On The Real Hustle, our next guest has made a career from spotting fakers, liars and cheats, so I can't wait to see what she thinks of our housemates. <laughs> it's Jessica Jane Clement. <laughs> and our final guest really is something to be excited about. I've been pinching myself all day. Do you remember when um, Alexandra Burke got giddy when she had to introduce Beyonce on The X Factor? <gasps> I'm feeling that right now. I've been a lifelong fan. I love trading places. I loved Halloween and I loved True Lies. And you're all excited as well, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> I need to compose myself. Uh, we are being joined by a member of Hollywood royalty who I had no idea loves Big Brother quite this much. Loves it enough to come all the way to Borenwood to appear on our little show. I told my mother it'd be worth staying on a minute. This is not the JLC that was on the booking form. Okay. It's not Jamie Lee Curtis, but we did all love the Friday Night Project, Bring Back Grange Hill, and Oops TV, didn't we? Yeah, we did. So, should we have him on anyway? Yeah. Yeah. Justin Lee Curtis! <laughs> We should really crack on with the show. Uh, we'll discuss who nominated who and why in a bit more detail later on. But first, there was some very strange behaviour in the house today. After everybody had come out of uh, the diary room, after nominating, I'm out of breath just from walking. <laughs> I'm there with you. So, Justin, is the strange behaviour due to the fact that they're now allowed to discuss noms? Yeah. Is it playing with them, do you think? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's a wonderful idea, can I just say, as well. Really? So, yeah, it's, it's so freeing to finally allow people yeah. to talk about who they've nominated. Yeah. I wasn't sure about it at first, but I think just looking at the interaction in the house and the discussions that are taking place, I think it works. It caused rifts as well. Yeah, which, fireworks. Which <laughs> Indoor fireworks. We, we, we tend to like on this show, don't we? Yeah, don't perfect. Know perfect. Um, Nikki, do you wish that you'd have had the chance to do that when you were in? Would have discussing noms been something you've liked? Definitely not. I mean, it's it's... Bad enough in there, not bad enough, but it causes <laughs> problems. I suppose the paranoia is enough. Just it really being is. In there and without... after you've nominated, you walk out the diary room and you literally cannot look at the people you've nominated. So if you've been discussing it prior to that, it's just going to make it even worse. So I was really grateful that we didn't have to talk about it or weren't allowed to talk about it. Yeah, but it, I think it does seem though that the people that that do talk about it and tell each other, they kind of just go in, come out, and it's done. So maybe if they talked about it more beforehand, it wouldn't cause as much problem when they I came out. I just wish afterwards. in Nicky's year they were allowed to discuss nominations. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine? <laughs> How would you have reacted, Nick, if you'd have known who nominated you? Who is she? Yeah. Why did you find her? <laughs> I don't understand. 
<laughs> um, well, tonight, watching the show, it, um, it, it sounded like Chris may have uh, been fibbing about nominating Dina to Connor. Let's just remind ourselves quickly of it. I done one girl, one boy. I know who you voted. I can tell. Who? Dina? Yeah, I knew that one. And the other one? Hmm. It wouldn't have been the one I voted for. Who? I done Caroline. And you? Do I have No. Lydia. Who'd you do? Yeah, well. Who? Nah, done too good, Dina. Dina? Quite a lot of people have done her, to be quite honest. Doesn't look too good for her, Holmes. Uh-uh. So it was all it was all just a little bit odd, wasn't it? It was yeah. like, oh, are you avoiding are you avoiding it? Or is it a bit of a game? So was it a game, Jess, do you think? Or is it because Aaron was standing there and he just didn't want to have that awkward moment? I'm sorry, what he did with his tongue then just made me go a little <laughs> bit. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so he he nominated Aaron but said he nominated Dina. I think He's jealous of Aaron, doesn't want anyone to know that he's jealous of Aaron. So poor Dina does seem to be just getting it from everybody. Yeah. She's yeah. an easy target. But then target. they kind of ended up bonding at the end of the show tonight, when they're in the bathroom. What, Dina and...? No, Aaron and Chris. There's nothing that bonds two weird. people more than a good bitch. <laughs> Especially when you're bitching about people. That's why I love this show so much. That yeah. It's what makes the relationship. Chris is it? a dirty bitch. Dirty bitch. Becky say tonight that Chris plays up to the cameras. What's your your opinion, guys? Yes. 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 yes he does. Like he really plays up to the cameras. He's different for everybody. Like he keeps changing his persona according to the people he's talking with, and I don't like that. At all. Oh, I've heard somebody else say that today. True, he's well. a chameleon. Anybody? It's a chameleon. Chameleon. Yeah, chameleon, Chris. Chameleon. Yeah. Oh, I like that new tag. Thank you. Well, I think we wa we watched them all making groups and planning about who they were going to nominate and then this week there's been such a spread of the nominations like everyone had like one vote and I yeah. think it's been com like being able to talk about the nominations has made the show so different. Yeah. Um, okay. But Chris is that a shapeshifter. Kind of I think he's a shapeshifter. Shapeshifter. And he will Chameleon. Align himself... Keep throwing those yeah, tags see? out, JLC. He will align himself it. to the strongest group. What's that? He's not shapeshifter. Who else? He's not the only one. Most of them are playing a game. Most of them are lying about Lydia. who they are. Lydia lied about who, who and then she she's playing a good game. I admire, he's not the only one. Aaron is just a pretty face. Um, you know what, you, Rowan, I know you all go on about Lydia most of the time the audience go on about. I think she's bloody great. Oh. As you said, she's playing an excellent game, so that makes her a brilliant housemate, right? Yes. She's a schemer from the minute she got in there. Everybody has to listen to this lady because she's pregnant nine months. Nine months. Um, uh, Nikki, talking of Aaron, um, we saw tonight, he was going, I don't give a shit that I'm up, I want to be out of this house. Then he goes to the diary room and we see a very different side of him, almost vulnerable. Do we want to see that side of him? Do you think that's a genuine side? Well, to be honest, I'm not... It's not genuine, but I'd rather Aaron stayed in than Chris, because oh, I think Chris... I would not want to be in that house with Chris. He's <laughs> revolting. <laughs> and do you fancy Aaron? Of course! Of course! You do. <laughs> uh, Justin, is Chris versus Aaron like Tyson versus Lewis? Yes, as absolutely. And really? Yes, and Chris is Tyson. So Aaron needs to watch his ears. Because <laughs> honestly, Chris is Tyson and he is hungry and he's going for his ears. Chris has to stay. He, has, he absolutely has to stay. Do you think he has more to give than Aaron? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Chris thinks this anyway. He thinks that Aaron will win uh, because of the girly vote that, mm. that people yes. will fancy him and, and get him to stay in. Do you think that is what's going to happen? Yes. Could we see a shift? No, no, no. So what? So he thinks that Aaron's going to stay in Chris because all the girls... Aaron's going to stay because everyone's going to fancy him and they're going to vote. I, to, I think to Chris is going to go, but I really don't like Chris. There's just something about him that just... You can, when he drinks and when he eats, you can hear it so and he's going... Go, he's just... Yeah, he's very aggressive. Just he's got a microphone. Exactly. He, he is, yeah. No one else does it, though. Chris, Chris isn't likeable, but you don't have to be. No, they, Chris isn't no, likeable. That's but what you adds to, to the characters yeah. in the house. He rubs people up the wrong way, and that's, that's interesting. Um, it wasn't all about nominations today. Some housemates did find time to have a little bit of fun. Are you ready for an exclusive? Yes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Whoever thought this would happen? God! Yeah. His brother advises you to unroll Becky's oh. and take the hanging out! Uh, Justin, yeah. she is having a whale of a time, but yes. would she be so happy if she weren't immune? Would she be so happy if she weren't sorry? Yeah, if she wasn't immune. She's immune from, uh, yeah. from being nominated this week, so if she wasn't immune and people could have nominated her, yeah. Do you think she would be as happy as she is? She would wouldn't be, be having slightly... quite so much fun yeah. being rolled up in the carpet. No, you're right. Yeah, no. she wouldn't be having quite so much fun. Yeah. Um, and what about Lydia? We saw her there in that clip. She's just kind of like sitting and watching. Yeah. Do you think she is enjoying no, what's going she on? She thinks she's too good for everyone because she thinks she's Andy Scott Lee's fiance. <laughs> so she just thinks that. No, you she know... doesn't think she's Andy Scott Lee's No, she is. Obviously, she is. She is, she is, is. You know. No, she is, fiance. but she's using that as a thing where I can't do this and I can't. I'm so much better than everybody. I'll get over it. Is anybody with Lydia? She's, 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 she's great TV, and I hope she doesn't go just yet. Yeah. But I think pretty soon I'll get sick of her as well because yeah. she's yeah. too conniving. Yes, yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah. The fun bit is good. It's good to watch. But there's yeah. something very nasty and twisted about her that I just don't like. Maybe Emma. she's good at playing Emma. games. Um, does, yes, does Andy, does Andy Scott Lee know? Was he aware that there was a lady in the house walking around wildly claiming to be engaged? <laughs> Like, because we could all say that. I'm engaged to Andy Scott Lee. Have we spoken to Andy Scott Lee? He was down here the other night, so I do believe he's genuinely You'll engaged. You'll do anything to, to get on telly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you don't agree with this lot, or you do agree with this lot, but you'd just like to come and visit us anyway, then uh, come down to the studio. We would love to have you. Uh, and if you're really lucky, you could end up sitting next to Hinge and Brackett from last night's show. Uh, if they you're were watching, awesome. you'll know exactly who we're talking about. It was like Bo Selector. <laughs> I knew what. It was just like Bo Selector. It was. I thought it was Lee Francis. Uh, so did I, doing yeah. scary spice. <laughs> 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 in the audience email us on the address below so it's not a good week for models and scrap metal collectors or bailiffs as they're more commonly known uh, <laughs> uh, chris and aaron are up for eviction i love this lot of it's brilliant uh, it's time to save your fave A bit like Mariah Carey, we don't just show you the camel toe, we give you the whole hoof. Yes, we do! <laughs> if you haven't seen the pictures, you'll have no idea what I'm talking about, but have a look online. Uh, right, time for some exclusive action. Are you ready? Yeah. Aaron's not happy. I can't believe somebody's giving no, Dino alcohol. I don't want to drink that shit, it's horrible. It's yeah. point, what's the point of me dressing up? You have to one beer, babe. Like you change. Listen, if I laugh, then like, say something to me. Like You're not big. Like, babe, what? I've seen you after a swig of alcohol before. Well, who are you to judge me? I, who am I to judge? I've seen you after alcohol. And what I'm saying and is what? I've kept this out. Listen, do you not I've think that I do you on. not think that I know my own mind? You do yeah, not know right, me better right. than I know myself. Why do you even have to mention that? Do you know? If I do something do you know? do wrong, then say something to me. You do yourself a favour. Idiot. He's just doing it so he can get camera time because he's up for eviction. Will you just have your drink? Because he knows I'm the weakest one, so he'll say something to me so he can get camera time. I don't think so, babe. I don't work like that. Look how I'm fucking dressed. How many why times do you have, have to say time? we can all see how so you're why dressed? Do you say, Stop why do you keep shit going on and on, on, on and on? Then. Look how I'm dressed. Look fucking how I'm dressed. I, I know how you're dressed. You. You're in front of me. Fucking how many idiot. times does he have to say it? Flipping hell. <laughs> a splendid time in the house, aren't they? Uh, so it's only day eight, sorry, and already the house is a hotbed of sexual frissons. It's very French tonight. And frustrations. Uh, here to help make sense of it all is a man who had more than his fair share of frustrations in the house. It's Mr Kirk Norcross. <laughs> Oh, no, you're, sorry. You're just followed constantly the, by a bevy of feathery beauties. They, they come with me everywhere now. Is this what happens? You leave the Big Brother house and you get this. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Um, OK, so we want your sexpert opinion because you're a bit of a stud muffin. Well, I like to think. Yeah. I like to think. Mega fans in the front. Uh, right, so couples in the house, potential couples, Luke and Lauren, Lauren and Aaron, Aaron and Sarah, Sarah and Luke, Luke and Ashley, Ashley and Connor. 
the list goes on and on and on and on and yeah. on. So why so many potential couples this year? I think I think it's just literally like a house full of me and Frankies at the moment. I think everyone's they're With all some girls. Yes, we're a girl version <laughs> of me and Frankie. Every, they're all young and just like the same age as me, and they just they want to have a laugh, you know.